All right. Uh, let's do the backlog. All right. Backlog. 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 It feels weirder when there's not an audience. I know. <laughs> This whole show feels weird. Even without though an audience. they're not here, yeah, it's just it feels weirder yeah. when there's not people, yeah, popping up. Anyway, right, it's the backlog. Hey, it's backlog. This is a segment of the show. Where we go through our gaming backlog. Every video game we've ever bought, we write down in a little Excel spreadsheet and we talk about it at this part of the show, regardless of whether or not we played it. Nine sixty. Nine sixty. Okay. Is that no? No. 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 That how many? We oh, have? how many we have? Uh. Yeah, 960. Oh, okay. And we're going for number 794. 794. And that is, ooh, Bionic Commando Rearmed for the Xbox 360. Holy crap. Okay. this You got this. I got this game. So let me. You let, are you are a big Bionic Commando let, fan let for me, a hot minute. Let me back up for a second because there's a, there's a lot of story and context I need to give for why I bought this game. Okay. I bought this game. The f is this Bionic Commando Rearm or you should own the the shitty remake? <laughs> this is the shitty remake. Yeah, you want Bionic Commando Rearmed. Okay. That's uh the that, side for, scroller. For the record, that came up when I searched rearmed. Okay, no, because that this was at the time they were trying to bring back Bionic Commando and they did rearmed, which is a you love this term, 2.5D remake of the original NES game. Okay, hold on. This is Bionic Commando Rearmed. This is Bionic Commando Rearmed. Two? Does that even exist? That, that does exist. Okay. That's not what we're talking about. Okay. Okay. I so, didn't. Yeah. I had no idea. So there's Bionic Commando Rearmed, which is a modernized remake of the NES game from back in the day, and then there was Bionic Commando 2008, which is a full modern 3D reinvention of the series. That's the one where they put his dead wife in his arm. Okay. <laughs> we're talking about Bionic Commando Rearmed. This so, looks terrible. Let me explain why I bought this game. Okay. I bought this game purely because of the strength of its soundtrack. This is, I'm not exaggerating here, my favorite video game soundtrack, period. The music in this game is incredible. It's phenomenal. I had a friend, this is before the days of Dropbox, I had a friend email me the, the tracks, track by track, so I can like listen to it in college. And it was like all I listened to for like it's it's an original three soundtrack. It's that's the thing. It's the NES soundtrack, but it's like remade and modernized in a way that doesn't just sound like a straight recreation of it. They change tempo and like pacing and mood, and like they do just enough that like turns it from like yeah, that this is it. This is gonna sound bad. This is gonna sound terrible, but like. Like it just builds you up and it's like when it gets going and it kicks in and you're not going to do it. <laughs> but it just turns everything from like what could have been just the standard like, you know, EDM remix of the soundtrack to this like wonderful techno pop odyssey through like fighting Nazis in a modernized world. You got like the hard hitting tracks, you got like the dark tracks, the moody tracks, you got the chill tracks. It's just incredible. It sets the tone perfectly for like, even not just the game, but for like listening to you on your own. Like you can do anything to this soundtrack. It is incredible. I'm not a final person. <laughs> if this game ever came out on final, I will buy it in a heartbeat. And those are just, uh, these are these are the NES songs? Yeah. Just redone? Just redone. The, the composer was Simon Vicklin, who I think is actually like a lead designer on the game itself. And it's, like I said, it's the it is hands down my favorite video game soundtrack ever, period. And I am I am an old fart. I've heard a lot of video game soundtracks. This is the best. That's crazy. Yeah. Because the game looks terrible. <laughs> <laughs> the game is fine. <laughs> but the thing is, okay, so like eventually like I had to get the game and play the game and try the game because the soundtrack was just so good. The, the problem with the game is it's a remake of the NES game from back in the day uh -huh. for better and worse. They do change a lot of it. Like it's not just, you know, what the game was. They actually use the arm more than it, they did in the original. So in the original Bionic Commando, like you use the arm to swing and mm -hmm. that was it. This game, they added like 
uh, proper physics to it. So like you can control the momentum of the swing. You can grab enemies with the arm. You can grab objects with the arm and throw them at the enemies. There's a lot more puzzle solving you can do with it. Um, they revamped the boss fights in it. So they're less you know hard and less obtuse than they were in the original. But you're still dealing with like all the crap of like an an old like hard on purpose NES game of like confusing level design of hard enemies uh, that aren't hard because of a good challenge, but hard because they want you to just keep playing and they don't want you to return the game to Blockbuster. And yeah, I just I look I played it for a while. I just was not like feeling it. Which made me feel crazy because this game was getting like stellar reviews across the board. Yeah, it has an eighty-five on Metacritic. Yeah, which is pretty damn good for it, how this game looks. I mean, you gotta I know remember it's a, it's a PlayStation Three game. Yeah, it's an Xbox. It was like an, one of the first Xbox Live Arcade games on the three hundred and sixty. Yeah. We got it on three hundred and sixty. I think this is my crazy conspiracy theory brain working here. But I think the reason why it did so well was because this was an era when games journalists, the scariest people in, in, <laughs> in the game world most of the people who were reviewing games at the time grew up with yeah. the NES. Yeah. And now they were of an age where like they, they were nostalgic for things like this and they wanted to play these games again, but like looked better than pixel art. And that's what this game is. It's the same game. Just it doesn't have pixel art. I like the idea a lot. Like, yeah, like it's, it's a game that we haven't seen since, since the NES. Yeah. Uh, Re remastered and we didn't get anything like that around that time we yeah. didn't get nes games made brand new all of a yeah. sudden uh and released on xbox live arcade that's yeah we didn't get small games then it was, yeah this it was, was like just the 60 perfect, or this nothing. was the perfect uh t test case for that yeah. yeah so so i understand why people would really like that uh the game just it, it doesn't look good yeah <laughs> also uh not just visually it just looks like like not that great of a game yeah. but again now we have the hindsight of having people remaster games all the time or release smaller games for yeah. 20 dollars. back then we didn't really get a lot of that stuff uh also we grew up with an nes uh we did not grow up with bionic commando right yeah no we were we grew up at the tail end of the nes life cycle i'm yeah. talking about these were people who grew up with like the whole generation no i understand. and had like more access to the entire library had we been older would we have even known about bionic commando as kids because i didn't know about it until uh way later yeah i mean i don't know I, that was not even a thought in my mind going yeah. to funko land if i saw <laughs> bionic commando i'd be like get this out of my yeah face. no i don't know i don't i know. want my mega man's my ninja yeah. gaiden i mean we might have known because it, it's a capcom game so we might have seen the logo and be like oh that's the same logo from the mega man <laughs> From that really hard game yeah. with the blue guy in it. So, uh, f yeah, th like I said, this came out when they were trying to bring back Bionic Commando. There was this, and then there was the shitty, like, modernized third-person remake um, where the... That's what I thought. Yeah. I th I was thinking of the shitty third-person no, remake. it's not that. And then there was a sequel, Bionic Commando Rearm 2. Game looks the same. It does. Also has, like, a decent... Not as good as this, but, like, a decent soundtrack. Um... That game did not score well. And again, my conspiracy theory brain is that it's the same and people no, realize. <laughs> well, no, it's the same, but people gave it bad reviews because they added the ability to jump. And by in oh. this in the in the original NES game and this, you couldn't jump. You had to use your arm to get from place to place. That was the whole point. But I'll be honest, there were a lot of parts in Bionic Commander Rearm where I'm like, this would be so much easier if I could just jump. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so they added the ability to jump. You can apparently you can beat the whole game without jumping. Like they made it so that you can do that. But I think people just saw that you, they added the ability to jump and just gave it fives out of ten. <laughs> Cause I, I don't think there's any difference, any real substantial difference between Bionic Commander Rearm one and two other than the ability to jump. I think they just might have realized that. There's no substance anymore. It's, it's not a remake of, of the thing that they love the yeah. children. So now they're realizing, oh, wait, the game actually is not great. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, uh, I would I don't even know if this game is available anymore to buy. I mean, it was on the it's on the 360 and PS3. They're shutting down the 360 marketplace soon. It's not backwards compatible. I don't know if it's on like Steam or anything like that. I see a Steam link. Okay, so it's on Steam if you really want to play well, it. Yep, ten bucks. Okay. Uh, 
I don't. I also don't think they ever put this out physically on like a, on like a disc. Bionic Commando Rearm 2 is backwards compatible on Xbox One, and there was a physical release for it, but not the one that people actually seem to like. I see it on Xbox Marketplace. Where yeah, buy a game. Well, that's the 360 Marketplace, which they're shutting down soon. Oh, I thought it was shut down already. No. Okay, so, so get it while you can if you want. If you but really want, it, they, like, I think it's cheaper on Steam. Probably. Oh, it's the same price. Yeah, like again, you there's got a demo on xbox 360 marketplace so try the demo if you want you really got to be into games like this like the old like the old old school style of gameplay um otherwise just hunt down the soundtrack <laughs> honestly like just hunt down the soundtrack is phenomenal if you take anything away from this episode of the backlog just go on youtube and listen, yeah, to, the listen to the soundtrack yeah uh all right so thanks for watching the backlog everybody yeah. we're gonna keep doing the podcast uh you should come yeah the podcast Bye. Bye.